Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Video Forty Four coming at you with another video. All right. Um, so I just read somewhere that Joel Embiid was essentially answering questions about Ben Simmons and whether or not he agreed that he could play with him, and he was, you know, whether or not they had done a good enough job building around him or what have you. And Joel essentially said, you know, everything we've done uh, for the last several years has been because we want to put the ball in Ben Simmons' hands. We even let Jimmy Butler go, which he thought uh, was a bad idea uh, because they were trying to put the ball in Ben Simmons' hands. And, you know, he's right. I mean, you have to really accommodate for Ben Simmons, man. I mean, it is what it is. And that's kind of why I think the, the Philadelphia 76ers should be willing to let him go. Because he is a very difficult player to build around without the freedom of cap space. And you don't have that because of Joel Embiid. And I think that's kind of what Ben Simmons is alluding to uh, outside of some of the other stuff that's being said. It's just, you know, they don't have the means of bringing him what it is that can be make him the best player he can be. Um and that's just is what it is. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you understand what Ben Simmons is when you draft him. You understand what his limitations are. You understand what he needs. So it was just ill-advised for them to take him on without having a plan for him. You know, it, it, and it's a mistake. You know, you, you, you value a player because he's great, but you're just selfish. That's all that is. I mean, if you really want to just lay it on the line, the Philadelphia 76ers are being selfish with Ben Simmons from the jump because they knew they didn't have what they needed to put around him, but they didn't care because he was a Pantheon great player. They knew it. They had the opportunity to draft him. They were going to take him, and they weren't going to trade him. And they were going to keep him, give him all the money in the world because they believed in him, but they weren't in a position to give him what was best. They deserve what's coming to them. That's basically what I'm here to say. Uh, Philadelphia has not done right by Ben Simmons, and I've said this several times. This is a new, new conversation here, but, you know, I'm not on – the side of Philadelphia necessarily. Now, I'm not saying that Ben Simmons is handling this correctly because I think that he's made some mistakes here. Um, and I think that that ultimately he's going to need to go sit down and figure out what's going on and why he's making the decisions he's making in the way that he is um, and question whether or not he should be listening to the people he's listening to telling him to do it. But at the end of the day, um, Philadelphia hasn't done right, right, this, right by this kid. They never were the right franchise for him. They should have never paid him that contract because they knew for a fact that he was not getting better. And they knew for a fact it was deep, deep down they knew and we knew it was their fault for not putting the right players around him. Um, and ultimately, who they're really not doing right by, the elephant in the room is they're really not doing right by Joel Embiid. Because he should not have to answer questions like this. He should not even be put in a position to have to explain to anybody why a guy did or did not fit on the team around him. That's a GM's job to answer that question. That's that's ownership's job to answer that question. That's Doc's job to answer that question. And I don't think Joel Embiid should even be giving the media anything in regards to this. These are sound bites that he's feeding them for free. They could talk about this kind of stuff for weeks. And I just don't think I, – I, I question why certain players do it. Like, I just don't – like, I understand that the NBA – um, loves a story, you know what I mean? And, and media loves a story. I love a story. But sometimes it don't. I don't think it benefits players to really say anything. Like in this situation, I don't think it benefits Joel to say anything. Um, all he's coming off as is, is finally honest after capping all this time about wanting Ben Simmons on the team. Now he's coming around saying, yo, I didn't want this guy on the team. Why? Because basically it was tough trying to build around him. You know, we, we did things that we shouldn't have did trying to accommodate this guy. And ultimately, it came to this. He should have never been here. You know, so that's that's what Joel Embiid probably would really like to say. Um, they should have been building around me properly by not putting this unorthodox piece uh, right here as my running mate. And that's that's what it come down to, man. And I've been saying this as well, too. Joel Embiid can get the hell out of Philly. I'm ready to say it. I'm, I'm ready. What you want me to say? That they're doing a good job? They're not. They've done a terrible job. They've been doing a terrible job. There's, not, there's no reason for Joel Embiid to want to be in Philadelphia anymore either. It's not. What, what, what are you standing there for? Just, just because you want to be there for the fans too? You want to be there for, you know, the, the sentiment of being a Philadelphia 76er? They haven't proven to me that they can put the stuff around you that'll bring you into a position to get over the top. Now, can they get you close? No. No. Ben Simmons' defense got you close. They and the pieces they put around you to help do that didn't help that. They didn't. It was you and Ben being dynamic that dragged that team to the Eastern Conference every year. Half the time, they didn't even have the pieces they needed to get you there. 
Thank God for Seth Curry. Thank God for Tyrese Maxey, of whom they won't even play. A Shake Milton, of whom they can't even play. Now, you and I know that's Ben Simmons' fault because they needed Ben Simmons to have a ball in his hands, hence why all of this is being said in the first place. But ultimately, I don't think that is an excuse at all because wherever Ben Simmons is going, he's going to be playing with another ball handler. That's happening. <laughs> and chances are, you would want them to be as fast and as dynamic as Tyrese Max. It's Philly, y'all. I'm telling you, it's them. It's every everything boils down to them. And the fact that they're being petty with a 25-year-old kid who's going through something just further proves my point. It's them. Does Ben Simmons should be should Ben Simmons be doing all of this? No. Why is he doing all of this? Because of who he's going up against. Them. It's time somebody finally say it. It's time. It's time to say it. Yeah, I like Elton Brand, you know, I, I but come on, it, it, it is what it is. You guys have been stacking talent that doesn't fit together for years. Doing stuff that you probably shouldn't be doing, losing on purpose, and open being open about it. Firing the guys that, that help tank the situation for you. You know, you had Sam Hinkie in there. He had this elaborate plan. You deliberately fail, and then you fire him for failing. Just ridiculous bull crap. Like, honestly, ridiculousness. And we just look at the, tr the stuff they've done, the Jason Tatum stuff. It's, it's just a lot, y'all. I don't think anybody should want to be there, honestly. Nobody. Not even Doc. Not all should get a mass exodus from Philadelphia. God bless the fans. Until someone carves out that front office and sends it packing and brings an entirely new front office in. Because that's what needs to happen. Chicago Bull style. I don't think anybody should be trying to be there. Truly. You know, they look they look like the New York Knicks if the New York Knicks inherited two fantastic players and did all the dumb stuff that they did with those two fantastic players covering up the bull crap around them. That's what it was. It's all it's ever been. God bless, you know, Tobias Harris. He's a great player. I think he's great. I don't think he's a problem at all. So I'm going to mention him as one of the players who's not a problem. But, I mean, come on. Let's be real. They don't have everything they need to win, but they always have just enough to get to a spot. They can get to the second round, to that big play where they miss or someone else hits a big shot. They can get there, but can they get over the top? Never. Never. The East Coast Clippers, they never. And so, Joel, how long you want to do this, man? <laughs> how long you want to do this? Because I can tell you, that kid that was drafted, sitting there, hoping his name would get called for the Lakers, it was called for Philly. I saw that long face. Things didn't get a lot better for him. <laughs> they didn't get much better. He turned into the player you thought he was going to be. He was going to be great. He is great. MVP candidate every year from here on out, I believe. But he should have a couple rings by now. He should. If not a couple, at least a finals appearance. Let me, can I say a finals appearance if I don't want to exaggerate? He should be. He should have been to the finals. There's no way the Toronto Raptors, the Atlanta Hawks getting to the Eastern Conference Finals, all these different things. Nets getting all these players. All this is going on, and Joel Embiid has been playing elite the whole time and has never been to the finals. Giannis just won a championship. No, no, this has to stop. This has to stop, Joel. How long are you, you going to put up with this? Ben Simmons gets it. He gets it. He's getting the hell out of there. He don't want to hear from nobody. He don't want to talk to nobody. He's sick of sitting in the sewer. It's time for you to do the same. You got to get out of there, man. It's bad. And it ain't getting no better because they're about to trade Ben Simmons for nothing. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, nobody really wants to admit this, but they're not going to get a good return for that kid. They're not. And what they're about to do is waste your entire season asking you to do too much with too little while that kid sits because they want to play tug of war with him. They're in the same box with him. And then for some reason, they see the, the fruit in playing down there. Get the hell out of there, man. It's time. I demand, I would demand a trade. If I were Joel Embiid today, y'all think y'all got problems? You ain't got the kind of problems you about to have when I get the hell out of here. You can, Ben, you can stay. They're going to build around you for sure now because I'm out. My name is BDL44 and I'm out.